Well, how's she going to today, tubes? So, uh, my uh, thing that I ordered actually came a day early. It was supposed to come come tomorrow, but it actually showed up today. So that's kind of cool. And I thought she would be a she'd be a lot bigger than that, but she's not. So, or she's not a very big, you know, thing. So, but whatever. So. It was cheap, so I figured why the hell not. So, and plus, it's just one less thing I gotta buy now. So, ah, uh, stay there now. So it even came in its own nice little uh, little box and everything. And uh, let's see if I can. I had it. Freak sakes, man. I already had it out and everything. I kind of tested it and everything, but seems to be a little dicker to paint. But I guess whatever. I guess who cares about the paint, right? You know. Here's the uh, here's the book. I haven't read the book yet, but you don't really have to. If it's you know simple to use, but I kind of should just read it anyway, you know. But, I pretty much well already know what to do with it anyways, so, and it's metal, so, but she came in a nice little box and everything, so, I kind of thought it was uh, kind of neat, but, even though I don't really, you know, whatever, so, but anyways, this is what I got. Yeah, this is the box. I got the thing on already. I don't know if I can grab it. It's a Big Red Jack. Same name as Big Red, the four-wheeler. <laughs> but she's only a two-ton. And I, I don't know how that thing can be a two-ton, but okay. I'll show you here in a second. But yeah, it says not to overload it, but I kind of doubt I'll ever overload it. Um, This is by... uh that company, Big Reds, you know, Jacks. Now she's only a two ton, remember that, only a two ton. So the next size up is a four ton, which I might go for that maybe later on. But I figured for right now a two ton would work, just for what I want to use it for. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I thought it was kind of neat. You know, for only, uh, well, the thing's only $13, but there's so much for friggin' shipping and cost and shit like that. So I got up to, up, got up to $20, which is okay, I guess. And I'll show you the jack now. And that's the jack. She is the tiniest thing in the world. I don't know how this little thing, like, I'll put my hand to it, you can come, oh shit. Compare it to my hand. I don't know if you can see. Damn it! Stay there. I don't know if you can see it all that good, but apparently she's a, she's a two ton. So, but but the paint's kind of dickered in some places. So I don't know if it's, if it's just been sitting a while or what. But that's all right. I don't care about the paint anyway. So, but yeah, she's a two ton. Just I just got her today, just like a few minutes ago, and. Uh, yeah, those are the handles down there. Oh shit. And uh, I, I, just, I plugged in my light just so there'd be a little extra light here. But she's a two ton and she does work. I don't know why they give you two handles, but you gotta put them together. Which is kinda. Which is, I'm trying to do it with one hand, so I'm using the wall there. Use the wall. This end, the little end, actually goes on to the uh, thing down here to release the pressure and then the big end you can use the little end too in there but there's just a lot of a lot of play so just lift the big end in and up she goes you see so but I want to max her out for you so I already did max it out but it just wouldn't go up any higher, so I figured, well, that must be maxed out then. And she's only a two-ton, so 
But I figured it's good enough for now. I don't need to go overboard on them. Um, I'm going to max her out for you. And I think you could get another little bit of height out of it if you uh, adjust that up there on the top. That kind of screws in and out too. That's just to give you a little extra bit of height if you needed it. I think I'm just about there. Yeah. When you go up, it'll actually go back down just a hair. So then you know she's maxed out. So she's maxed out. So that's uh, that's max height. So I figured that would be good. Now what sucks about this is that she won't go down on her own. Unless she's got weight on it. But I'm going to turn the screw. That should be good enough. And you can see how she's not going down. So she needs a little bit of pressure. You see. The screw must be a little, still a little too tight. A little, at least just a bit more. What I don't like is these damn handles don't stay together. I don't know if you're supposed to run a bolt through there or make a hole for it and then tighten it yourself or what the hell, but I figure for the little bit I'm going to do with it, it ain't going to matter, so let's make sure it's nice and tight so we don't leak. So we don't piss oil all over the place. I guess what you could do is uh, I could uh, put it in the vise and then tighten this, clamp this down so then it doesn't come out, right? I don't know if I should do that or not. Uh, probably won't hurt this end. She's got a lot of slop and crap in her, so. But, you know. Frag it. I don't think I'm going to bend that together. I think I might just leave it. Because if you ever want to take it apart, you know. It'll fit in a small box, then you can't do that. So. Might be alright. But, she's a two ton. And, uh. You know, hydraulic press, or not a, no, not a press, but, a, you know, a bottle jack. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So, but yeah, so that's kind of neat. I don't know if I'll be using it now. I'll probably just take it back to the house. I kind of like to have uh, brand new stuff, you know, sitting with me for a while because they're kind of worth a lot of money when they're new, so... Right now the jack's only worth about 20 bucks, but you know, the they'll, they'll, if somebody wanted to steal it, they could sell it for higher. So, I got this from uh, Northern Tools, again, and uh, it, was, it, was, it was so retarded that they uh, gave me another book, which I already had one from when I ordered the winch, but... The, uh, the box was so freaking small that they had to crush the damn book to even get it to even get it in the box. So the book's all freaking dickered. So, like, well, I don't need it anyway because I got the other one. So, you know, frick it. So, that's fine, whatever. But, you know, whatever. So, at least I got something from Northern Tools that I can actually use. Even though I don't think I'll be using it today. I kind of, kind of doubt it, so should probably be sitting for a little while. So yeah, so I got a little bit of everything, you know. I got let's see, I got the uh, I got the jack from uh, Northern Tools, and then I got that got that grease gun from uh, Tractor Supply. I like Tractor Supply too, but they don't have a whole hell of a lot. So, my best bet would be Northern Tools. So, but you know, whatever. So, so it's another, uh, got a train. So, I never did get around to cleaning up my snow mess yet from yesterday. I just don't know when I'll get around to it. So, yeah, it's actually, uh, actually, it's melting pretty good out. It's still 26 something out. So, I mean, she's plenty of watering, right? So, if 
But uh, I guess apparently on payday, when I go to get the money out from my bank, um, it's supposed to be uh, a little chance of snow. But, you know, they always change it. So, you know, whatever. So, but uh, it's looking good. It's looking like, you know, spring could be here pretty soon. You know, it's not supposed to be here for another month, but. Eh. As long as it stays in the 20s, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm okay with it, you know. If it's minus 20, fuck it. I ain't going out. So, you can't do it by hand, can you? Well, you can. A little bit there, I guess. So, but I figured I would just show you tubes that, because I kind of thought it was neat, and I thought, you know, well, everybody needs a jack, right? We have. That's the other siren ringing now, so it's new and now. But there's two sirens that ring. Right now, the other one's ringing over there. There's a little town. Um, there's another border crossing right over there, so there's a town over there, and they have a siren too, and that's what's ringing right now. The one on the on the north quarter side is going to be ringing here any minute. So, stupid sirens, but well, guess what can you do? But, uh, yeah. She's a little windy today, too, but, you know, it's still decent out, so. But, uh, I'm going to have to, uh, uh maybe not. I think I, when I, when I use this jack for that son of a bitch down there, I got to see what's wrong with that fucking tire. It just doesn't see, it seems to have a lot of play in it. It's a shuffle loose or something, but. But I needed, I needed, I needed a jack, so I figured a two ton would be good enough for now. Even on the, on the box. Where did it show? It's, it's lifting, lifting a pickup truck, so. Whatever. That thing there is definitely not two tons. That's probably a hundred pounds, so. That jack won't have a problem lifting that. I just didn't realize she was such a freaking tiny little thing. Two tons? And this little thing? Yeah, right. Whatever. Nah, I think even if it was just a... Even just a 1,500 pounder, it would be alright, because... Well, I'm never going to lift two tons. Well, I guess two tons could lift could lift Big Red a little bit, anyways. Well, actually, I probably could. Right now, I got my uncle's uh, car jack. It's the opposite of this. This is a battle bottle jack. The other one's just like a car lift, you know, thing, you know, big, big thing, you know. So, but for some reason, that right when I used it, the thing wasn't wasn't hold, holding pressure. So, come to find out, I think that screw was loose. That's the siren on the north quarter side now. So. But, you know, whatever, so. I don't know if you guys can hear that siren. I kind of doubt it, but. You can hear the damn train, too, probably. But, uh, whatever, so. I also have to buy one of these. Now, this one's my uncle's. I gotta get me one of these pipe cutters. I seen him, I seen the exact same one in the hardware, but that was awful expensive, so. But, you know, a little bit here and there. Next month, I'm kind of hoping to buy another another tool, but it won't be another jack, really. I don't, well, I was telling my mom that over the, over the, after a couple of years or so or something, I'm going to buy another jack, and I'm going to go, now the biggest jack they have, that's a bottle jack, is a 50 ton. And of course, then the smallest one is a two ton. So, so they got a, a two ton, four ton, eight ton, ten and twelve ton, and then all you know, like a forty ton or something, and then all the way up to fifty, right? So, my mom's like, "You don't need all those jacks." I was like, "Yeah, I do. Very good, more the merrier." So, nah, you can never have too many jacks. Very good, but. I figured for now the two ton would do. 
You know, I probably won't be using it anytime soon. Probably not to really to spring. I could be here working on a stupid roller thingy, you know, but uh, I want it to be super nice out, you know. If we could get in the freaking 50s and stay in there, hell yeah, I, I would be here working in the shop, but. Eh, for now, we'll just leave it. So. What the hell was that? <clears throat> Freaking bullshit. I don't know what the hell that was, but whatever. So. So, yeah. <clears throat> but I figured I would show you guys that. And, uh. And, uh. Probably should take my winch back too. I'm kind of going to need that. I'll do it tomorrow. Do everything last minute, and, I'm, and my mom gets mad at me. So I just like doing everything last minute. <laughs> Whatever. It's called it's called being lazy. Come on now. Got to be lazy every once in a while. Jesus. But sometimes I think when I push myself too hard, I get sick because I noticed. If, uh, earlier this summer, now it's when I was brush hogging with the mower in the garden. Yes, I made a video on it. Go check it out. Um, I think it was uh, mowing, mowing weeds and crap or something like that. I don't know. But it's just a short video. But I was pushing myself hard all day that day, <clears throat> picking up uh, watermelons and shit and stuff like that. And I was just giving her, you know. And then I started getting kind of played out, so, but I kept going, I like, I want to get done today, because it was supposed to rain the next day, but it didn't, th then it rained the same day, so, whatever, but, but then later on that night, when before I went to bed, I, I started feeling kind of sick, and, you know, like crap and everything, so, so I really can't push myself too hard, I I get sick, so, I don't know why, don't ask me why, because I don't know, but, Whatever. So, I'll be working hard again this summer. So, I noticed that these things got these stupid little clips in them, which they better not break. Stupid little clips, but whatever. I guess they'll work. And I'm a little pissed because Bill T Max. I don't know if you guys know him or not, but Bill T. Max he got himself another freaking GoPro camera, and I'm a little pissed because I didn't get one. But you know, three hundred dollars for a camera that's probably I don't know. It's probably that camera's got to be no bigger than well, a little bigger than that handle. This handle here, it's a little bigger than that, but you know. It comes with lots of stuff too, but I mean, three hundred dollars for a gold. You know, it's the number three. There, there's three different kinds, but the newest one now is the Hero Hero Three. I've been trying to get one for the past year and a half, but it's always something else that gets in the damn way. You know, I really fucking want one because put that thing on my head, right? It ain't go romp in this fucking snow with uh, with Big Red. No, not this Big Red. The other big red, so, but, whatever. So now I got, uh, I got two big reds. It's going to be a little awkward, but, whatever. The big red, the jack, and big red, the four-wheeler, four-wheeler up at the yard. So, but yeah. I don't know what it is with big red, you know, like, not big red, the four-wheeler now, the big red, the jacks. They make other stuff too, and I don't know what it is, but I kind of like them. I don't know if it's just because they got the same name as, the same name as the four wheeler or what, but now they always seem to be such good stuff anyway. And this, and by the way, too, I want to make sure everybody knows this. This is my first uh, big red anything, you know. I haven't bought anything else from Northern Tools, you know, besides you know the winch. Well, that's not a big red winch, you know. That's just something else. But, 
Yeah, I was gonna try this big red jack and see how it works. It seems to work, you know, pretty good. I can't wait to put it under under some load, but yeah. It's gonna stay with me for now because I don't want it out here because just because somebody might break into the shop and steal it. And there's enough stuff in here that they would steal. You know, I mean if somebody were to steal that lawn boy, that mower, you know, I don't care about it. Even though it's my mom's, but it's not mine, I'm not gonna worry about it. It shouldn't even be in my shop, but my mom wants her stuff, so whatever. I could be putting a shelf there or something. No, I could anyway, but whatever. Oh shit. Turn on. Another thing I wanna do too. Now I was gonna do it a few months ago. Now more than a few months ago. Um I seen one on uh, a workbench on Northern Tools, all different sizes, of course. For like a, I think the smallest one was like a hundred bucks, and uh, I think it would. Uh, I kind of measured it, and even the smallest one is a little bit too big. But I figured it would work because what I was going to do was uh, put it here, and then it would go, you know, somewhere over there, right? So then I would have like a big workbench, you know. I probably what I could do is take this one down and then just have a big one there, right? But I kind of like that. I don't know. I don't know. I like that wooden thing, you know. Plus I got my damn vice hooked into it, and I don't know if I can put one. I don't know if they would go through steel. Well, I guess they would. You'd have to drill the holes, but you know, it's easier to drill through wood than it is, you know, you know, than steel. But I had to put this, I put this leg under here, um, the leg right here, to take some, because this is a, this is a heavy, heavy vice. And I was worried about it, this would probably, you know, right over, so. So I got that leg under there, and it's not, it's not bolted or anything, it's not screwed, it's just, I mean, I could kick it and it would come right off. But she's just there to, uh, support that side of the, the workbench so it doesn't cave over. You know, I kind of doubt it ever would, but, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. But I like how they how they have this bench because they uh, made it so it's actually inside inside the studs. You know, so the shop's a little bit bigger. You know, which is kind of cool. I, I just don't want to have to build... I just don't want to have to build another one, right? So... But, you know, whatever. So... I was just kind of worried about how the hell did we get it off. And, uh, I think as long as they have a, a truck with a, uh, with a tailgate lift on it, I think what they could do is put it on, put it on the lift, bring it down to ground level, and then if it's in a crate, I'll just hook a fucking chain around it and I'll just pull it with Big Red and pull it up to the, up to the driveway, you know, I guess, and then pull it to the shop. So, not you know, whatever. So, I don't know. I'm kind of itching to try out this damn jack. I don't know. I keep staring at the jack and I keep staring at the wheelie thing in here. So, let's just try it. I got, oh shit. I'm itching to try it out. So, just, just for the hell of it. Uh, I still got to build the, uh, the son of a bitch for the pump. But I can't do anything until I get the extra lumber. And now uh, my grandma's bitching that where she put her chickens, where they where she put her chickens for the winter, she's not liking it because we get tons of fucking snow there. And I said, well, you got to quit having my uncle blowing it that way because he he likes to blow snow that way. And she said, well, he's not blowing it that way anymore. And I was like, well, you wanted them there, so don't complain. Cause I ain't, I'm not moving animals now. And for some reason, uh, all of our damn guineas died. I think except one, but I don't know what the hell's going on at that farm, but I haven't been there for a while. I was there yesterday, but before that, I haven't been there for a while. So, fuck it. If I don't have to go there, I'm not going to. So let me see if you guys can even see the tire. Uh, the tire's over here. Yeah. 
I just want to try it, guys. I just want, you know. I might have to put a board under it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick a board under there, guys. This one should do. I'll bring me another one just in case. And I'll just use this one. This should give me enough height. Actually, what I could do, I guess, is just drag it right there. Okay, guys. Well, I just want to make absolutely sure that you guys can see. Uh, can you guys see? Well, I fucking hope so. Just got some load under her now, so I'll just keep jacking, I guess. It's stupid is I can't turn I can't turn this wheel because then it turns that one too. That's kind of freaking dickers, but all right. Interesting, there's pressure. So, oops. So I got that thing jacked up just enough. But now you can see how the wheel's crooked now. But there's no, there's no weight even on that wheel. It's all on that tire now and on the jack. Oh yeah. Look at that nasty fucking play in it. That damn nasty play. So the jack works. Frickin' right. So now I'm going to uh, release the pressure and bring her back down. Some load on her, so it's not a very good then, but. So much for the paint looking nice. Oh well, she works, so that's a plus. No, 
only thing that sucks is that when you uh, release the pressure, um, what's going to happen is that once when you lower it all the way down, the thing, the top of it doesn't go down all the way. So. Damn. She's gotten crooked her since Holy fuck. That was a little crooked, but that's just because they're dickered. Holy shit. So she's got a lot of freaking... Uh... See, I'm going to show you. I'm going to zoom in because I'm not bending down. Let it focus. And you're probably not going to focus. Oh, you are. See that gap there? On the uh, on the round part there, the gap between there and there um, shouldn't be like that. It should be tight, like the other one, which I'll show you here. This one I think's got yeah. See how she's in all the way or something like that. Anyway, I think that one's taking quite a bit of damage from the weather. So. But you know how it goes, so... Ah, oh, Christ. So, the Jack's paint's not new anymore, so... She did hold up, the, kind of the, she did hold up to the weight, but... Yeah, the top of the paint's all dickered now. Well, that's alright. It's probably just cheap paint anyway, right? So... Whatever. One more look, and then I'm going to put it back in the box. So... Yep, two ton big red hydraulic bottle jack from Northern Tools. Freaking right. She'll uh, she'll do good for me. I'm pretty sure of it. She already proved it by uh, picking up that thing over there. So, dude, you know, that's nothing, you know. But I don't want to. Since they're new, I don't want to, you know, overload them right away or you know, make them work too hard. Take it easy on them for a little while. So I'm gonna close back, to close the box back up, and uh, and uh, stuff. So get in there. Come on. Uh, okay. So she's all uh, packaged up and. Uh, Ready to go back to the house. And, uh, uh, yeah. So, that's probably it then for now. I don't really have nothing else planned. I'm still trying to get my one video up. So, I doubt it'll be up tonight. Maybe tomorrow. And, uh, I don't know. I think what I'll do is, uh, Maybe I'll, uh, nah, I don't know if I want to risk it. Nah, fuck it. I was thinking about uploading this video, too, at the same time while I'm doing the other editing for the other video, but I don't want to uh, make my internet, you know, work too hard, so one video at a time will do, so. But that's it then for today. It's just, this is all I got in the mail, or actually came by UPS. That's all I got. So, but I, I think she'll work pretty damn good for what I'm using it for. It will, you know, she's only rated for two tons, so mm. she'll be fine. I didn't, I just didn't realize she'd be that tiny, but that's good. That's actually a good thing, though. She'll fit underneath that thing just fine. I don't even know if I need the other, uh, the other piece of wood that I had on there, but whatever. So. But anyway, I guess that's it then for today. I'm going to head in and uh, edit my other, or see what my video is doing. Because I'm doing a little bit of editing to that one, so. Well, actually, I haven't done any damn editing to it. I'm uploading it to the uh, One True Media editing son of a bitch that I use. So, I got to do that, and then I got to download it, and that's going to take a couple hours. So, well, I don't know if there'll be a video today or not. I kind of doubt it, but. Whatever, you guys will know when it's uploaded, so. 
But uh, that's it then for today, tubes. So I'm gonna head in. So I guess have a good day. Don't forget to smoke some damn cigarettes and stuff. And uh, go ahead and uh, I guess leave a comment and hit the like button if you want to. And uh, or if you want to be an ass, you can hit the dislike. I don't know, but whatever. So yeah, tubes. I'm gonna take off. So have a good day. See you guys later.